Brian, how did your training camp go for your uh, debut in Bellator? Uh, the training camp went well, no injuries, got to push hard, hard good work. Um, I took the fight kind of on late notice. Um, I had some other things scheduled up, but you know, this is where I am. I'm prepared for it and I'm ready to dominate. Now you're fighting Matt Harwood, who's a UFC veteran. What would a win against a guy like him mean to you? Um, Does it matter that he's one of the UFC? Sorry. Well, it's definitely another step up for me. Uh, he's been in the UFC and that's where I'm making my way slowly. But surely, so I mean, it's definitely going to be a good step. You know, whoever is in my way, I'm I'm making my way there. So. Now you're a lot. You were considered a highly touted prospect. And, you know, started off your career defeated, and you had the setback against Kale Sonnen. Now, after losing your first fight, how do you deal with that mentally? Does it change the way you approach the game and train? Um, no. With that with that loss against Sonnen, um, I learned from it, and it was definitely a learning builder for me in my game. Um, it's just pretty much just believing in myself and in my team and my work I put in and going out and performing. So any predictions for tomorrow's fight? Um, predictions, let's see, I got my last one right when I knocked out Ray Singer first round um, up there in Canada, so can't get it wrong. Uh, I'll go with second round knockout this fight. Uh, you called it here, second round knockout. Second round, okay. Okay, right, well, where's the thanks a lot, Brian, for your time. Thanks a lot. Make sure to tune in tomorrow, Bill, for fighting championships. Tune in. ESPN support this, babe. Brian Baker, man. All right, guys. Peace.